Hello everyone, my name is Kari and today we are reporting from day number 12. Our morning began very sad because Amanda and Monty were leaving us and it was a very sad moment and a lot of tears went down and we still keep in touch of course. That's the beautiful thing about our project because we know that we will not miss Amanda forever because she will be hopefully online already tomorrow and watching this report. Greetings to you, Amanda. One, two, three. You really have to go. Guys, monkey. <laughs> so what we did today, we went on with our workshops. Today we had another language day. We made different language courses and uh, also real language courses in real life but also video language courses so you can stay tuned on this YouTube account because soon we'll have many 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 new language courses also in a, a huge variety of different languages and what we are doing right now I'm standing here in front of the house of Aga as you all know Aga is from Alexandrov she was born here that's the reason why we meet here and uh, today we have a very special occasion. Aga's family invited us for a dinner, all of us, the big group of 30 people, so you can imagine how much work it was. And we see here Aga's family's house. Aga's family lives here since generations. And you can see that it's a very typical house because here in the front you can see even the old house where Aga's grandma is still living. It's made of wood. And in the backyard, or backyard, you can see the house of Aga's parents where they built a new house and that's actually the the style of this village that you have still many many old natural houses in the front and then more houses in the back and we are very happy today that Aga's parents invited us actually the whole family is here enjoying this evening with us and we are so thankful for this evening so let's go in and see what happens there Okay, we are now right now in the workshop of Aga's father and this is the place where we have dinner and as you can see the whole family is here, even the mayor of the town came tonight only to see us, which is very special. Leo! Leo, 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 Leo! How did you like the food? Oh, it's you! Oh, food! It's amazing! I want more! I want everything to me! Go away! It's my food! Go away! And who do we have here? Tea, Math, how did you like the food? Oh, they are very tasty. Yeah? Very tasty. And I cannot stop eating. <laughs> as, I, as I heard, uh, there's a rumor going on that you brought traditional dresses from Vietnam here which don't fit anymore. Yeah! <laughs> because of Polish food. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, train. She can't fit in her shoes, but when we were in Munster, she used to fit, but now she can't fit in her shoes because the feet become oh. fat. Yeah. I see. And over here we have Diana. Uh -huh. How did you like this food? Oh, like always, it's delicious. Uh, we have tons of it, and it's great. This is just beautiful. If you can focus this, this is just gorgeous cakes. And oh my god, I'm gonna be so on diet when I get back home. Oh, it. Yeah, that's great. So now we'll come over here. Who is sitting over here? Uh huh. The Polish crew in the house. Is this typical Polish food you used to eat every day? Um, not every day, but on special occasions. And what can I say? It's the typical Polish hospitality. So when we have a guest, we make them sit with the table full of food and say, eat, eat. If you don't like this, I make this. And, uh, well, the first uh, task is to drink, the second is to eat. <laughs> so we drink and, 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 and eat, and that's very normal for Polish people, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really Polish hospitality, that you get so much food that you cannot eat enough. Whoops! 
Now we'll go here to Aga. Aga, I know that you don't like interviews. I hate it. But today you are a very special person because we are in your I'm house. I'm always a special person. <laughs> because you are. But tell me something about your family. Uh, as uh, all you can see, my family is very big and it's not only people who are uh, connected, connected. Hmm? Related, uh, but this is also neighbors and friends of my family. They are like family, like here, for example, Anya, Agnieszka, or Peter. Mm. So, uh, tell us more about uh, the food here on the table. Oh, this food was prepared not only um, in uh, my uh, parents' house, uh, also my neighbors and uh, friends of my parents bring something like those delicious cookies or uh, this uh, white cheese with cream uh, and this incredible, uh, how it is in English? Donuts? Uh, yeah, I think uh, all here should try it. It's just great, you can see the whole variety of Polish food yeah. and we want to thank you so much. Oh, and I want to thank my parents. Yes, <laughs> you and your parents, your whole family, they are so great. The whole village is great, you know, everyone invites us every evening and We just enjoy it here. Yeah. It's like being in a big family. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So here we have Anna. You just arrived. You just arrived today. Uh, yes, I'm very late. I'm sorry. <laughs> you you missed already the I big know, part. I know, I know. But I check the forum every day, so I'm almost <laughs> with you. So it's great to have you here too. So okay. Um, stay tuned for later. Hello everyone, it's late in the evening now and we had a wonderful dinner today and the family of Aga is so kind and now it's turning into a party as you can see, people are dancing. Magda, how is the dance? Uh, well, my dance is a one leg dance because the second one I have the sprained ankle, so my dance looks like this. Very cool. It's very hard to have a, keep the balance. Uh, well, it's all, always very hard to keep the balance, but I'm trying and my day was fine. <laughs> yes, she has an almost broken leg and she's still dancing. You can see the mood is good. Andrzej, how is the evening? Very spectacular. As you can see, people, we are having a really good time over here. People are dancing even without music. And uh, we just want to say goodbye tonight. We will meet each other tomorrow again because we are preparing another report, of course, from tomorrow. And um, I wish you a good night. Bye-bye.